Hi guys, my name is Dmitro. I'm your Duolingo tutor. In this lesson, short lesson, I would like to tell you about three basic levels of uh, the description of the photos uh, in Duolingo. I mean written descriptions, but I think it can be applied to both written and oral, doesn't matter. But for now, let's focus upon a written description. Uh, at least, if you remember about these three levels, I'm sure when you face a photo during the real test, it will be a bit like easier for you to decide to stick to which one of them, and uh, so consequently to squeeze, let's say, to get the maximum of what is possible at your level of English. So what I mean, if we take any photo, we can say that it can be described at three different levels of the language. Let's say the highest one, then the medium one and the lowest one. The lowest doesn't mean like the worst, you see, so the word lowest should not embarrass you. So the highest one is when you produce the, I mean, the highest amount of words, yes, when you have those nice collocations, when you feel elated and eager to write, when you experience that enthusiasm, creative enthusiasm. Of course, you will say that uh, usually it is experienced by guys, you know, by those who have a very high level of English, yes, but still there are such, and they exist, and they pass your language, and so on. So the medium level is when like you have a normal level of English, you feel okay, but maybe this photo is also okay, you, let's say, you wouldn't say that you love it, but it's acceptable, so let it be, yes? We describe it at our medium level. For instance, we will produce two good sentences, or maybe three, but two are enough. Let me assure you, if you produce two really good sentences, you will get 120, 130 for your production, something like that. At least for the photos, yes. And finally, the third level, the lowest one, is when like you don't like the photo, you feel scared, you feel paralyzed, at Duolingo, your level of English is, let's say, very, very approaching, something like low, lower intermediate or something like that. Uh, and of course, you are under some stress because you have 60 seconds, aka, I think, 55 or 50 seconds, because we understand that while it's popping up, this miracle, you look at it, you have some mental processes, and while you actually start typing, so there is some time already elapsed, so it's not so like, it's not 60 seconds, it may be 50 seconds. And uh, you're stressed, you're squeezed into this frame of 50 seconds, and it's difficult to produce anything decent. But at least, you let me like tell you that even sticking to this approach of the third level, the lowest one, you can still get like 100 for this description, 110 which is more than enough in the majority of cases since uh, you will have other types of tasks yes and in some of them you will be better than at this one okay so let us look at this photo and describe it try to describe it according to those three levels yes so i'm a non-native speaker and now i'm tired already it's evening already i have already done some lessons some tutoring some coaching and uh, i have a mixture of languages in my head uh, and so on anyway let us think about, please you also think along with me, not just sit passively and look. So this photo, this beautiful photo of a mom, apparently, yes, and two children. Okay. And the back, the backdrop, a background of some interior. So, uh, let us produce two good sentences. I mean, you see this photo and you feel that I can do it. I can describe it at the higher level. Okay. If we feel enthusiasm and we feel capable of describing it at a decent level, then I recommend that we don't, you don't have a long, a very prolonged uh, introduction, introductory phrase, because it will eat away uh, 10 seconds, sometimes 15 seconds. Those precious seconds, you will, uh, like, you, I don't, you don't want to spend them on the, in this polychromatic image we can see, yes, it's okay, but everybody understands that it's a cliche crammed by you with your tutor or independently and everybody is sick and tired of a little of this bull yes and but still it will produce if your intuition prompts you nudges you to use it okay then use if you feel that you can write a lot here don't waste your precious time writing this in this polychromatic level 
just let's take let's uh, proceed let's take the bull by the horns yes so for example uh, I will not write here in this polygram whatever I can maximum write here comma oh my god just in my Ukrainian uh -huh. here uh, and here we have a logical fork I will I would not even write I I can see because this so this is so childish I can see everybody can see that. we have a fork of either there is there are or maybe uh, just even without there is there are a young lady yes is holding let us stick to this a young let's say attractive female e, uh, for example again we here have some logical forks so I don't know how you will write it. here a young attractive female with her two <laughs> beautiful okay cute again let's say cute offsprings of course I can write kids but you no know, offsprings is uh, better it's not so idiotic to stick out from this style yes but at the same time it uh, with her two cute uh, offsprings offsprings so it can be observed okay let it be observed Okay, I can put a full stop here, nothing special. Here, a young attractive female with her two cute offs can be observed. Okay, the lady is holding a baby wrapped in a towel close to herself. Close to herself or to her chest, maybe to her okay let it be to yourself comma mind you then while while the second uh, elder kid is gently holding the baby's hand okay maybe like not so higher level but uh, the lady is holding a baby wrapped in a towel close to herself of course uh, it's not 100 percent ideal stylistically but let me assure that when you have 50 seconds it's okay i have witnessed it hundreds of times don't worry about it about the stylistics duolingo is not also awful where you have uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes where you can look at it and ponder yeah and brood and decide something you even don't have an opportunity to return sometimes and to correct because everything like those seconds are shooting bum 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 you don't have even the, the lady is holding a baby uh, wrapped in a towel close to herself uh, maybe here we can put a comma okay let it be it doesn't matter much while the second elder kid maybe her second it doesn't matter is gently holding the baby's hand okay let it be of course they're smiling looking at each other Lala. you said you didn't even have time to describe the interior but they don't care always i think the logical priority is given to the foreground not to the background think about that if in the background there was a rhinoceros <laughs> pooping here into some you know reservoir then maybe it would have made some sense you know, to describe it but there is nothing special here just some uh, Finish and nothing else. Okay, so this is let's say this is a good normal variant for I don't know 120, 130, something like that. Uh, now let's produce a second level. Yes, if you feel that uh, I will not write like this. Uh, okay, let's write a bit simpler. Yes, so uh, this, for example, image features. So this cliche can be used, it's not so overwhelming it's welcoming it's um, it's difficult to define whether you have learned it or whether like it's your natural style this image features a happy family of a mom and uh, her two kids with with the elder kid okay with the other child of course holding uh, his junior siblings uh, oh my god uh, uh, siblings where is where is the uh, hand okay full stop 
This image features a happy family of a mom and her two kids with the elder child holding his junior sibling's hand. And of course we should mention that the mom is holding, yes, the mom is happily holding her baby, the, for example, pressing, pressing him or her, I don't remember, so let's pressing it to her chest. Okay. Is it okay? It's okay. This image features a happy family of a mom and her two kids with the elder child holding his junior sibling's, sibling's hand. The mom is happily holding her baby, pressing it to her chest. Okay. And finally, and a lot of you will resort to this variant number three. When like I, uh, I'm scared, I don't remember anything. Uh, the only words that spring to my mind is like uh, love, hate, run, go, give, and so on. And then mom, child, and that's all. Yeah? And still, I want to write something. I don't want to sit and spare uh, my precious seconds losing my points. Okay, what can we write at this easiest level? Of course, maybe I will not be able to reproduce the most primitive level since I'm a teacher and I have a large experience of describing these things. Maybe not ideally, but at least acceptably in most cases. Anyway, I will try now to write uh, what I would, the message of this is that you are able to describe anything using simple terms such as person, yes, process, phenomenon, thing, object, do, perform, something like that. Most universal still simple words so let's take the beginning the, let's borrow the beginning from this one since it's okay uh, this image features a happy family a happy family uh, what no not a while with the mom holding your baby and the other child standing next to them. Full stop. Full stop, yeah? I see that I have, for example, 15 more seconds so I can write something. My mind analyzes whether I can use the, the, the towel wrapped, tucked, who is wearing what, the background, um, I have like one second to decide what to produce the second sentence about. Yes, it's difficult for me. I let me repeat, repeat myself to. I don't know how you will write. Uh, so okay, they okay uh, they all smile and uh, love each other. They all smile. Let's say uh, to each other. and uh, look so happy but we have had already this happy yeah? so if i feel i'm capable of producing a synonym i'm happy yeah? if i'm not so let me then uh, so happy i reproduce it's okay to repeat once it's not a big deal of course the system will understand that i forgot all other synonyms if i remember something i can write uh, feel so elated joyful Elated, joyful, happy, excited, okay. Mind the spelling, you see? Don't, uh, don't uh, please forget that X, then C. We have C, excited, okay. So this is the simplest thing. So you will have several photos. Maybe three, maybe two, maybe four, I don't know. It's, uh, there is no exact information on this, and I don't think it's necessary. The system will adapt, I think, to your abilities. And when uh, each of them appears, you decide quickly whether you describe it at this higher level, medium level, or lowest level. Remember, please, lowest does not mean ugly. It's better to write like this without spelling mistakes and basic grammar mistakes than to try to write like that and uh, produce here such a rigmarole of nonsense that you will not get more than 90 for this. I have witnessed it a lot of times. Some students who possess a great uh, passive and active vocabulary, who live in the USA or Canada for six or seven years, and uh, they can speak freely, 
but absolutely illiterally yeah and so they reproduce this literacy in their description so they combine some beautiful word specific just to some let's say area of the united states with the following uh, idiotic grammatical mistake so m think about that it's better to write like this and get your 100 110 than to try to write like this uh, by the way this picture does not ask for you know i can write even better but uh, even more powerfully but not about like this you see it's, uh, sometimes there are complicated for example some aircraft with some technology i can reveal my capabilities better there but here just they're holding each other and standing so. anyway it's better to write like this than like this with a lot of mistakes think about that it works this may be second medium variant is ideal okay dear friends so if you need some urgent tutoring uh, for duolingo please contact me my whatsapp and uh, viber number are put in the description to this video and also at the bottom of the screen mind you i cost money as a tutor so firstly please well uh, visit my website online tutor.top and learn the price and some testimonials and then contact me directly uh, sometimes i help to raise the duolingo score by let's say 15 points we have had such cases in three lessons you see so i'm going i consider it to be a kind of an achievement i don't know a lot of tutors who are able to do that okay my friends i love you wish you success at duolingo and see you in our next videos